Who is the NFL's greatest defensive player of the last 20 years? Tough call. Who's the most controversial? That's easy. Linebacker Bill Romanowski. In one of the longest careers in the NFL, Romo, as he was known, played for four teams and led defenses that won four Super Bowls. But this NFL hitman earned a nasty reputation for extraordinary violence, breaking bones of his opponents and even a teammate. Now, in a brutally honest book about a brutal career, Romo admits he has regrets, steroids, the cheap shots, but he told us there was only one way to survive in the NFL, with overpowering strength and hatred. In his book, Romo, My Life on the Edge, Romanowski writes about a playoff game against the Giants, where he found himself buried with running back Dave Meggett. I'm pissed, and I'm down there just trying to rip that ball out of his hands. And all I could get was a finger. And at that time, I thought it was his, but just whatever it was, just, I just snapped it. And I could hear a scream at the bottom of the pile. You broke his finger and you thought to yourself, good, he's not gonna be so effective anymore. At that time, yes. Man, that's cold. That's awful. If this extraordinary violence sounds like roid rage, steroid abuse, Romanowski says it's not. He told us he used steroids only in the end, from 2001 to 2003. He got them, he says, from Victor Conti, head of the infamous sports supplement lab called Balco. Romanowski says Conti gave him bullet-sized vials of a foul-tasting gold liquid. It was a new anabolic steroid the NFL wasn't testing for, known as THG, what Conti called the clear. He called it a clear substance, a possibly a pro-hormone, a designer steroid. He really didn't know exactly what it was. He just thought maybe this could help and it wasn't something that they could test for. While Romanowski admits to THG, Conti was pushing other banned performance drugs, so we asked if there was something else Romanowski hadn't admitted. Did you take human growth hormone from Victor Conti as well? I took it a brief period of time, and I, I didn't receive any great benefits. Definitely didn't receive what I got out of THG or what I thought I was getting out of THG. You wrote, as soon as I found out something could be tested for, I stopped taking it. Yeah. I mean, what you're saying here is you did everything you could get away with. You know, I compromised my morality to get ahead, to play another year, to play two more years, to win another Super Bowl. The Balco controversy ran for two years. What, for you, was the most difficult part of it? The embarrassment to my family and friends, to teammates, team owners in the league. That hurt, and ultimately, and a little boy that looks up to his dad. And he said, Dad, do you do drugs? That wouldn't hurt me more than anything. He'd heard that at school. Yeah. And I gave him the best answer I knew how to give him at the time. I said, Dalton, Daddy did a lot of things to deal with the, the pain of the game.